in case you guys noticed, one of the things that becomes a struggle is this rejection thing. When you're talking to women, you're always feeling, I don't want to get rejected. What if she rejects me? I want to go talk to her, but the last girl I talked to, she rejected me and it was harsh, so I don't want to do it again. So what becomes your life story around women and talking to a woman you don't know is I don't want to get rejected. And it stems all the way back. This is not just, I don't want to get rejected. It is more of, I don't want to feel less. That's what is really. Because everybody makes it seem like rejection is the thing. It's not. Rejection is just something that we place for something else. We start to feel that going up to this woman will lead in failure. So, I don't want to get rejected. We start to feel that, you know what, I don't feel good about being who I am, so I'd rather not go up to a woman and get rejected. It becomes a process of, I don't want to go up to the woman <clears throat> and have her say no in any kind of way because the pain that's inside of me will start to mirror from that situation. It'll start to in some way connect to that. I have pain inside of myself from years ago. I remember when that one girl said she didn't like me. Or I remember when I was at school and somebody made fun of me. And they told me that, oh man, uh, you can't get her because you're a fucking, you know, you're, you're, you're a loser or something like that. And all these starts to play out into pain. And then we do whatever we can in life to not repeat that same feeling. To repeat that same type of situation. And that's crazy how we will continuously go through life and avoid every situation that could cause that pain to arise. And in the avoiding it, it becomes our new way of being. Because whatever you avoid, you start to build a structure around that. And as you build a structure around that, that becomes your personality. That becomes something that you can egotistically have as an excuse. I would say debunking rejection is one of the things that I find to be enjoyable. The reason why is, I've said this before, I've attached myself to never wanting to feel the pain of when I was little. And it helps me understand why did I get over it, how do I get over it, and why do I want to tell you guys how to get over it. This is why I'm so fascinated by it and, and I enjoy it because it gives me the chance to be able to help you guys more and more and more because the more that I see guys say I'm afraid of rejection, the more that I see that it's not rejection. And for me, I used to always say things to myself like, fuck, what if I go into this foreign situation, this situation that's new, and I fail, and the girl doesn't like me, or <clears throat> it does approve to me, or affirms to me that I am not enough yet for those type of girls. Because I used to have this thing that I had to become this, and this, and this, to be enough for these type of girls. I had to be enough in some kind of way. So I better do this, this, and this before I go approach these girls. You know what? I'll just start here and then I'll work my way up to those girls. Because I'm only enough for these type of girls and I don't want these type of girls over here that I feel like I'm not enough for to confirm that 
feeling inside of myself that I don't feel like I'm enough. That's really what's behind I don't want to get rejected is I don't want the person to affirm something that I feel about myself. If they affirm that, that makes me feel bad. That's it. That's the only reason why we so much of we put ourselves under so much pressure when it comes to doing things, when it comes to talking to women. When you're in front of a woman, you're probably thinking to yourself, I don't want to get rejected for saying this thing. Even before you walk up to her, I don't want her to reject me because I don't want to feel this pain. That is what's happening. It is not the simple thing of the girl saying no or get off or fuck off. Any of those things that you're really believing in your mind that you're afraid of, it's just simply, I don't want her to affirm that which I feel about myself. So rejection is not about her, it's about you. It is not about, I don't want this woman to reject me, it's I don't want to feel pain. That's really what you're saying to yourself. Every time I walk up to a woman, or I feel like walking up to a woman, I feel pain when it doesn't go the way I want to. Did I feel pain going up to girls and having girls say no, or getting the girl's number and having her flake? Did I, did I feel pain when a woman would not give me the chance of day and just go cold on me, or look at me like I'm weird? Absolutely I did. I did. But it was because I'm operating from the place that I don't want her to do that. I'm going up to her already feeling, I don't want you to react like this. Because if you do, I will feel pain. And I did it over and over and over. And then I went, what am I really afraid of in these situations? Am I actually afraid of the girl saying no to me? Am I afraid of that? No, I'm not really afraid of that because it's just her saying no and she doesn't like me. Hold on, hold on. When she says she doesn't like me, how do I feel about that? Ah, uh, that is the thing that doesn't make me feel good. That really, really doesn't. And why does that make, doesn't, make, why doesn't that make me feel good? It's because when she says she doesn't like me, I start to feel less. She's not verbally saying to me that she doesn't like me, but when her actions show me that she doesn't like me, or what she says shows me that, that she doesn't like me, I start to feel less. And when I start to feel less, that hits a pain point inside of me that actually does feel less of her. That actually does feel less of the things I think that I believe I deserve or that I want to deserve. It actually affirms a part of myself that doesn't feel that much like I'm, like I'm ready, that much like I'm confident. But what does this do for me? What does this give me that's benefiting me? How does this change me and getting the women I want in my life? It doesn't. So I'm going to have to see this differently. I'm going to have to go into the situation and talking to women very, very differently. I cannot continue to walk up to women and feel on the inside that I'm actually less. Because the story of feeling less is all it is, a story. That's all it is. And how does that show an evidence to me? I've walked up to women and they haven't given me the chance today. I've talked to women and guess what? They've said no to me. I've approached women and I was totally vulnerable because I learned that that's what you should be and I was still shut down. But I want different evidence to show up. I want different evidence. And maybe you feel that. You feel that right now I'm, giving the, I'm constantly giving the evidence that yes, I am less. Yes, she will reject me. Yes, I'm not good enough. 
you're constantly given that, but maybe try something different. Let's try moving toward evidence that builds a new story for you. And just to let you guys know, stories are something eventually that you will let go, but it does move you in the right direction. So I only say story because it gives you a different narrative, but eventually you want to get to a point where you're not living out any story and you're just being flowing and free and spontaneous. So what's the new story that you can start to play out? What is the new story that I started to, when I first was doing this, play out? Is that what's behind, I don't want her to reject me, is I don't want to feel like she doesn't like me or I'm not liked by someone. So right now, I feel that I want people to like me. I want all people to like me. So what I would say is the only way for me to get over this is to understand the truth. Ah, Tony talking about the truth one more time. The truth is not everybody will. That is the truth. The truth is also other women will. Other people will. If you want to know one of the things that I do to be able to do this is that I move away from illusion and I go straight to truth. This is how I found all of these insights out. out. If you guys want to know where am I getting all these insights from, it's because I moved away from illusion. But back to this. Not everybody will like me. And some people will. Not all women I walk up to will like me and some of them will. Can I handle that? That was the key question. That is the key question. Can I handle the most intimidating situation of a woman not liking me? Can I handle that? And if I can, evidence will show up that's different. So of course, as you know, my answer became, yes, I can handle. If a woman says she doesn't like me, she hates my guts, that I am uh, somebody that she finds disgusting, whatever it is, I don't care and I'm willing to accept that. Because if I continue to allow this to be the, the, the way that it is, I will not get the evidence that I want to show up, which is evidence that women do like me, evidence that I am enough for women, the women that I want. That's the key. Being able to create a different story for yourself. Initially, that's going to be able to lead you in the right direction. Because as it leads you in the right direction, what you will notice is the way you see everything changes. Because currently right now, your eyes are looking through a story. And the moment you change that story, your eyes will be looking at a different story. Reality right now is a story of something that right now you believe in. And you're living it out. But what's beautiful is that at any moment that story can become changed with your conscious will. So it's in situations from this moment, saying to yourself and reminding yourself if you came out of an interaction, yes, this woman, that woman may, ha may not have liked me, but I'm totally fine with that because I get to go to a woman who does like me. And maybe that woman didn't, but you know what? All these women are leading me to women who do. Because if you believe that there's women out there who will like you and who won't like you, then you're going up to women and now evidence can show you both. 
and you want both. That makes you real. And the more realness you come into contact with, the more you know that life always is two sides. Some people will like me, some people don't. Some women will want to have sex with me, some women won't. Like it's just, the more you know that life is two-sided, the more you will understand that I don't have to be scared, literally, of anything. Now, of course, we feel things, as I still do, but life is both sides. And that's what I'm getting you to understand is that the other side of I don't want to get rejected is it's okay to get rejected. I don't want girls to like me, so I don't want to get rejected. It's okay if girls don't like me because that leads me to somebody who will like me. Now you're seeing both sides. You're not just living out this one, just one dimensional story. Now you can see everything with clarity. But this is what I would say for you guys. If you really want to know the way to never feel rejection, the, the rejection that you're really, really feeling, this is how. Oh, she's on the phone. That sucks. Hello. Hello. <sighs> okay, I know you're on the phone. Yes. But? Yeah. Uh, my heart's racing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, are you on the phone with a guy? Sorry? I, is it a guy you're on the no, phone with? No, my friend. Okay, tell your friend that there's a guy who wants to meet you and that you need to call her back. No, I go home. Yes, I walk this way and talk to you for a little bit. No. Then I leave. <laughs> no. Do you, no, sorry. Do you have a boyfriend? Is that why yeah. you're saying that? No? Ah, okay. Sorry. Then do I won't walk with you. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so what would you guys call that? Would you call it rejection? Would you call it the girl not liking me? What would you call it? Most guys actually would call that. Just her saying, I have a boyfriend as a rejection. She rejected me. You know, I walked up to her. I wanted to get to know her. And she told me she had a boyfriend and she walked away. That's a rejection. Do you see how when you say things like that, it turns into the way that you see the situation when a woman says no in some way. It turns into this huge thing of rejection when in essence it was just simply I have a boyfriend. So that means that we can't have anything. There's a big difference between the two. Getting rid of the word rejection. Is the only way that you're going to really be able to make that situation different in your mind. Go back to the video as I explain to you why to remove the word rejection. What do you think of that? What do you think of remove the word rejection and you'll stop feeling rejected. You'll stop feeling the baggage of rejection itself because the word rejection carries a lot of baggage. This is what you have to understand. It carries so much fucking baggage. It carries, I'm not enough. In relation to a woman, she doesn't like me. It carries, um, I'm less of her. She thinks my existence is, is, is not enough for her. She believes I'm not uh, worthy of this. So she's not going to give me this. Like it, it has a lot attached to it. Even rejection without women has so much attached to it. Getting rejected from a job. Um, getting rejected from... A situation that you want to go into getting rejected in some kind of way from something it has a, so much attached to it that is why I removed rejection from my arsenal of words I removed it completely because rejection has so much behind it that it's more packed behind it that you're taking on 
and you don't need to. So if you think about it, a girl might just say, sorry, I have a boyfriend, and you start to feel so much fucking pain. It's only because you're feeling a trail of history that is not attached to you specifically, but is attached to what rejection means. Rejection means that you are not enough. That, what, that is what it means. Now, you might, you might look in a dictionary and go, no, rejection means this, this, and this. Okay, you do that. But I'm talking about in the terms of person to person. Rejection means you are not enough. That is what people have framed around rejection. And now people have framed that around rejection. You are going to live that out in everything that you do. You know what? I was trying to send a message and she didn't respond so I was rejected. I was trying to do this deal with somebody but they rejected my deal. And rejection itself, do you see how strong it is when you say it like that? When you say it like that, it becomes stronger than what it is. So, when it becomes stronger than what it is, you take on more strength of something that is not attached to you. That is a, the word itself means something and then you attach yourself to what that word means. That it, that it means someone is not enough or something is not enough and that means the same thing that I'm not enough. That is the difference. That is the key to being able to never feel rejection. Remove the word rejection. Remove it. As you remove it, you will notice that everything changes. Women start to look, this, look at you differently. You start to view women differently. You start to view situations differently. You start to see things cl clearly and not through the lens of rejection. Understand, the lens of rejection is too fucking strong in itself. It's the same thing as saying fear. Fear in itself has so much charge to it. Rejection has a lot of charge to it. And the moment you see these things as rejection, the moment you see the woman as rejecting you, then yes, you will feel a lot of pain. What it really does though, is that you say the woman rejected me, and that just brings up a pain that's already inside of you, but it intensifies more because you said rejected. That is simply it. How many times do you guys hear me actually say in my videos, rejection? I usually say when a woman doesn't like you. When you walk into a woman and she didn't give you a chance. Like, those are things that are trackable and you're able to see the, clear, the clarity in it. I walked up to her and she didn't want to speak. That's simply that. I walked up to her, she was in a bad mood and she didn't want to speak. That's simply that. I walked up to her well, I wanted to go talk to her, and as I was going to her, I noticed that she had a bad mood on her face. And then, I didn't want to get, I didn't want nothing to happen from the situation, so I didn't go up to, and talk to her. It's not, I, I seen this bad mood on her, so I, didn't want to, so I didn't want to get rejected. It's, I seen her in a bad mood, so I didn't want to go talk to her. Remove the word rejection. Remove it. When you remove it, everything becomes clear. You have to understand that rejection in itself is making your vision very hazy, foggy, whatever you want to call it. Just change everything for me. It literally changed everything. When I walk up to a woman, I'm like, yeah, man, she didn't want to speak to me. I come back to James and him, yeah, man, she didn't want to speak to me. Maybe I'm on a workshop with a student and I walk up to a girl and she's just like, yeah, fuck man, he may say something like, yeah, these girls are this. And I go, no man, she just actually was in a bad mood and she didn't want to speak. When I was talking to her, she was like this and she didn't want to do this. It's simply that. And as you remove the word rejection, you yourself see the evidence and how it changes. I'm just giving you first-hand experience of my experience, but I want you to go find out what is your first-hand experience of letting go of the word rejection. This is the key to being able to never feel rejection. You can feel that she doesn't like you and you can sit with that. 
you can feel that. But you don't go into I'm not enough, which is what rejection is. You can feel that I don't want to go speak to her because I just don't want her to give me a bad reaction. That's simply. That's not I don't want her to reject me, it's just you don't want to give you don't want her to give you a bad reaction. So you start to debunk it for yourself and you start to realize what it is. You create a new story around it. Create a new story. The story is some women will like me and some women won't. I don't ever need to say rejection again because it's not the truth. She's not rejecting me. She just doesn't like something that's happening. She's just showing me that through her reactions. But I don't need to react to her reactions by trying to build a story that then is going to lead into me building a story that I don't want to live out because it's not going to benefit me and where I'm going. That's the beauty and that's what I want to give you guys. And if you want to know more about this, if you want to know more about being able to have mindsets that aid you, being able to just be much more understanding of the process. Get my free meet to bedroom bear, bear, my be, uh, my free meet to bedroom video series. Eventually, in some time, I will take it down because as I'm continuing to grow, some of those things will change. So right now, you need to go get it. Just click the little link or go after this to the end screen and click the link or in the description box. I'm giving you every opportunity to get this thing while it's out. Because at some point, I got to move on to something else. I, I cover from the approach all the way to the bedroom every step along the way. How to do it and what could go wrong and how to get over that. Totally free for you. It ends soon, so the choice is yours. Until next time, I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.